We're in this park because we're searching for Matt Leaf, so we can test this baby out on his Leica glass. Everyone's talking shit, being like, being like it's too expensive, it's 1.33, and then I saw the video, I'm like, yeah, but the tests look beautiful. Yep. <laughs> I got the Moment 1.33 anamorphic adapter here. This is Moment's first foray into proper camera lenses. They've been making phone lenses for quite a while, and the folks at Moment are very excited about its release. So we're gonna go test it out and see if the hype is warranted. <laughs> we found Matt. G6! <laughs> Holy! And he's doing a music video. <laughs> so we're gonna wait for that to finish and then we're gonna take over. Okay, so we're trying to set the S1H because we want to play our 35 mil on full frame. That'd be really cool if we did that. Because full frame anamorphic is all the rage. You know, S35 has a whole different look. Like, you get into the anamorphic full frame and you see a whole different image. It's the reason why you love full frame to begin with, but now you have anamorphic to uh, excite you even further. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to make it work with the 35, the 35 Summicron. Something special about the way Walter Mandler was building his lenses, he was choosing um, spherical aberration over chromatic aberration when he was having to compromise his image quality for uh, optical designs he was creating. And uh, he chose spherical aberration and that kind of gave it the Leica look, that Mandler glow as they would say. What's the rear of this one, do you know? 72? Uh, 67. Ooh, 67. Okay, moment. Look at you guys. You got all this stuff here. 82. 77. Here we go. Look at that. It's a nice thick ring there. This ring is burly. Get it on there. There we go. Do you know what the front of the moment is? 82. Oh, okay. Perfect. Ugh. I hate sc screwing anamorphics onto stuff. Well, man, that was super easy to adjust. I got it on there, like, just like no problem. It holds your hand the whole way in a good way. All right, just make sure that's doing something. Okay, sweet. I actually have to carefully focus this to infinity now because I forgot. Okay, let's see if it clears actually. Let's just yeah. it doesn't at all. Okay. Right, tell. Like, it carries the creaminess of the Summicron across with it, which is pretty cool. Like it's really sharp and the, the mm. lens feels good in your hand too. Uh, we'll, we'll try the 50, I suppose, because that'll work. And... Well, actually we cleared 50 barely. Just barely? Barely, yeah. And means we, we see a little? Yeah, we definitely do. Uh, so far, I can't even tell if I like this particular 1.33 or not. I haven't seen the bokeh and I haven't seen like the flare or anything, but uh, it's true. I mean, the image quality itself, it looks pro. It looks amazing. It definitely looks like you're, you know what you're doing. Hey, hey, bud, that's a cool camera. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that thing probably takes good photos. Yeah, sure does. We made it. We're out skis. Like it definitely is really big. Well, I don't know. Let me see a person. No, this is actually great, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Sweet. This looks really good. Way better with a person in frame, for sure. All right. Yeah. So at uh, very close focus, we're definitely seeing dark corners. Yeah, seeing what we get. I should get some acting tips. Acting tips? Yeah. Act natural. Act natural. Yeah, another acting tip is... uh. Motion is knee motion. Okay? Yeah, this is cool. There it is. Wow, it's so easy to reconfigure the uh, the alignment of the scope. Yeah, that button is nice. Yeah, that button really really was a good move by a moment there. They've made something nice here for sure. This lens is pretty cool. You know, life is hard when the battery is warming your pocket. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Ah. The Boca is very impressive, and that's, I think, what people should be focused upon the most, is how is the Boca? Not how is the flare. But realistically, you're not getting that many flares, but you are getting Boca often. 
And especially if you're shooting wide open and trying to get the creaminess of like the lens, you're going to be shooting wide open and seeing the most bokeh. It will be important to have a good one. And, and this lens definitely is sporting a pretty cinematic bokeh. Like it looks bigger than 1.33 actually. Strongest aspect for sure is when, you, when you're holding it uh, is how smooth like this how smooth this focus is, uh, how even that is, how good that feels, like that's probably the best I've ever felt in a, an adapter. Minimum focus is also pretty good, um, 0.7 meters, that's pretty nice for an adapter. Uh, one thing that stands out though for sure, um, static front, we don't have any problem with like rotating front, so I can use the polarizer all the time. I wouldn't call it an issue, but um, this lens is definitely, we have, like, because there's no lens support built into the actual lens itself, there's no foot, foot mount on it, we can't put the lens itself on the rails. We have to actually screw it into the uh, taking lens itself here. So the problem we're having now is if we could get that, like this half an inch piece out of here, we could slide that right up to the uh, taking lens, we'd actually be able to probably clear the 50 no problem. And one thing that uh, the moment could improve on would be to actually ship this with like uh, the 0.8 focus gear. Because right now it's really good on the hand. It feels really good, really good on the hand, but I mean, it'd be a lot cooler if we could just have this on like a follow focus and not have to worry about rigging up a, a, a gear on that. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad at all. They're delivering what people want here. Yeah, it's much more like Isco Rama or something. Yeah. The flares aren't quite as nice as that, but the image quality would stack up against Isco Rama for sure. Yeah. Probably. Oh, here we go. There's the last of our sun. I had to actually go up here to get the flare. Button. And like the secondary is kind of like, you know when you mix every color of paint and then you get like sort of green, but not, mm -hmm. it's kind of what's happening with that secondary flare. That's the end of it right there. Yeah. That's it.